The Black Ops 6 Warzone update is tomorrow and the patch notes just dropped. So let's take a look at what's going on. Now, here we are with the season one update, which is tomorrow. And I have a feeling, I don't know if it's going to tell us on here that this update is going to be massive. So prepare to delete some old games or hopefully your PC has some storage. So let's take a look at what's going on. We have the anti-cheat. See what's going on. This thing has been a little bit uh, lacking to say the least, but they did update the anti-cheat. Um, so they have several updates, including enhanced AFK detections to battle against account boosting. This I feel like is more for ranked play and adjusting ping thresholds to require players to play matches in their region to cut down on VPN abuse. I feel like this is going to be one of those things. Hopefully they fix the servers where you're actually pinging to your closest server and not like 40, 50, 60 ping. That would be nice because I have a server right down the road in Atlanta, Georgia. And for some reason, I'm still in like 40 or 50 ping. So it doesn't make sense. Um, now, this is going to be for obviously multiplayer ranked. You do have to win 50 multiplayer matches to play ranked. Maybe for Warzone, uh, I think that drops in season one reloaded. They're going to change that. So that could be maybe like a hundred or a thousand kills in Warzone, something like that to, to match the 50 multiplayer ranked matches because a lot of people that are playing Warzone don't have Black Ops 6 multiplayer. So hopefully they did update the anti-cheat because it's been a little bit rough. Now going on to the battle pass here, we do have the season one battle pass that is going to have your progressions, all that kind of stuff. They're going to have Black Cell 2, which is usually like brand new skins, but brand new operators, all that kind of stuff and guns. So if you guys don't have Black Ops 6 and multiplayer, I'm assuming the battle pass will give you those double XP tokens double weapon XPs and gun builds to kind of kickstart our way throughout Warzone if you guys haven't played multiplayer. Now going down to Warzone here, we have beautiful Area 99 and we did touch on this. We did get to play this early at COD Next and this will be our brand new resurgence map, which I personally liked. I like to land at uh, these pods over here. That was kind of the place I was dropping a lot, but this map did feel very, very solid. So I'm excited to play it tomorrow. I hope it plays as smooth as it did and obviously having our own loadouts and things like that. I think it's going to play great and I Obviously, like it's saying here, Season 1 introduces Area 99, a war zone map by Treyarch and inspired by Nuketown's high-paced gameplay. It does kind of give you that Nuketown feel, um, and it did feel very, very solid. We obviously have uh, a ton of different POIs, reactor, bunker, test site, mannequins, cooling tower, and it did give you that kind of Nuketown feel. Hopefully, they did change the colors, though, because that was my main feedback at COD Next, was how it was kind of that sandy gray just kind of depressing looking map. So I hope, hopefully they brought out some of those brighter colors, which it does seem like from the picture, but we'll see tomorrow. Now going down here, we do have the return of Urzikstan. It is the big map um, from the early days. So this is gonna be before we got um, Superstore or the, the updated to power plant and things like that. Now there is gonna be no bunkers and stuff like that, which I honestly don't mind that much. I just hope it has that classic BR feel where we don't have a ton of flares and redeploys and gulag tokens. I hope it goes back to that OG feel of Verdansk where you kind of have to value your life. You got to play for kind of one life and then Gulag and that's it. Instead of having like a big map resurgence mode, that's kind of how I feel big map feels right now. So I hope tomorrow they change that and it gives that kind of old feel of how the OG Warzone and OG BR should feel. We also have the return of Rebirth Island. Now, I don't think we get this right off drop, but I hope they have Urzikstan in Area 99 and I hope they give us some time before they bring back Rebirth to actually have people play Area 99 because we have had Rebirth for years now and I would honestly not mind just playing a brand new map for a while and give people time to experience a new map and not throw us right back on Rebirth like they've done multiple times now. Now for Urzikstan and Rebirth Island, we are getting new vehicles, all new vehicles with improved handling, detailed further below, and a brand new dirt bike, brand new Black Ops 6 ground loot and equipment, light and visual improvements to the map with Black Ops 6 technology, and audio improvements um, to in-game sound effects, including footsteps. I hope they buff the audio, because obviously audio is a big thing for Warzone, and it's always been pretty bad, if we're being honest. And I hope these vehicles feel way better than how they did before, because I feel like those vehicles felt more just like very slow. They couldn't turn compared to the OG vehicles in Verdansk. You felt like you were actually playing a video game and not like you have to start your engine, you know, take your sweet time. Turning was a nightmare and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this is actually buffed where the vehicles feel good. Now going down to the modes here, we obviously have the BR coming back to Urzikstan. This is something I love to see. It says this mode offers the classic Warzone experience centered around high risk and reward gameplay. Now that doesn't really go into detail, but like I've said multiple times, and I wanna know what you guys think down below, I hope it actually goes back to the OG BR feel instead of kind of a glorified big map resurgence. Cause I feel like now there's just so many ways to come back and you don't have to value your life like you should in, a, in an actual battle royale. 
where you have one life and the gulag and that's it compared to now there's portable buy stations everywhere flares redeploys gulag tokens it doesn't feel like old br and i hope they change that where it's actually a, a a mode experience that you feel like you have to value your life and play endgame I hope that happens. We'll see though. We obviously have uh, solos, duos, trios, quads. That's going to be on Urzikstan. Now we do have Resurgence. That's going to be um, 44 players on Area 99 and Rebirth. Solos, duos, quads, and 45 for trios. And I'm assuming this will be um, the same mode across all of Warzone for a while. I just hope that we get Area 99 first and don't drop Rebirth because I would like to experience the new map without people being like, I like Rebirth better and have something to compare to. Um, Plunder's coming back, which can be great for a lot of people that don't have multiplayer to get their guns ranked up, because I feel like right now it's pretty bad, where a lot of people don't have multiplayer, and I guarantee you a lot of the Black Ops 6 guns are going to be meta, so it's going to be tough for them to rank that up, but thankfully we do have Plunder, which is going to help you guys rank up a lot of your guns. All right, so here's the playlist for season one. This is going to be the launch week. We have Urzikstan BR, Solos, Duos, Trios, Quads, and nice, we have Area 99, Solos, Duos, Trios, Quads. That's going to be great because there is no Rebirth Island until the 18th, which is going to be next week, which I'm very, very excited for because people can actually experience the new map and not just play Rebirth Island and compare it to that. So that's going to be great. Now, going down here, we do have ranked play coming on the big map, which I'm excited for, and that's going to be with season one reloaded. And it says keep an eye for later this year. So I'm assuming in a month or two, we will get ranked play on the big map, which I'm excited for. We've obviously had it on Resurgence for a while now. So I'm excited to see how it feels on big map BR. Obviously, hopefully there's no flares, all that kind of stuff. And actually players like, plays like a true ranked play on the big map, which I'm excited for. Um, now, obviously... We have the carry forward system where all of your weapons, blueprints, operators, scans, all that kind of stuff from MW2 and 3 will carry over into the Black Ops 6 era of Warzone. Meaning we will have like 130 plus guns and attachments for all of our guns, which is going to be crazy to balance. Hopefully that goes well. But if you guys do love your skins from MW2 and MW3, you can still obviously use that, which is great. Um, we have updated... Um, the uh, player AFK during a match. I don't really know what that means. And um, then to accommodate and track the new stats coming along with Black Ops 6, the Warzone leaderboard stats will reset at launch. So I'm assuming all of your stats, KD, all that kind of stuff will reset for Black Ops 6 Warzone. With the brand new update, we also will get the season one um, kind of drop and the prestige system, which there will be 55 levels per prestige. 10 prestige levels and then obviously prestige masters you hit that 10th prestige will have a thousand additional levels and that will come with weapons equipment kill streaks and perks and then we'll also have our own mastery camo for warzone which i'm excited about but this will reset our levels unless you play black ops 6 and multiplayer that will carry over so i'm assuming that we will have if you haven't played that it will reset you to level one meaning you will have to play and unlock um, loadouts and things like that that you can buy and purchase or guns that would be locked in multiplayer will be locked for warzone until you hit that certain level and i know that's probably going to make a lot of people mad but i kind of expected that as they bring over black ops 6 into warzone so now it's just kind of kind of be um, just different i guess you could say i honestly don't see a big point in prestiging again because obviously after you prestige you go back to level one as your actual level but then you have to re-unlock all of those guns and stuff again so let's say that a gun is locked until level 10 but you have it fully ranked up if you have that gun fully ranked up, you still have to have your level to level 10 to then unlock the gun to use. After you have the gun unlocked, you can throw on any attachments you want because you already have the gun ranked up, but prestiging would be kind of pointless because you would have to grind from 1 to 55 again in Warzone and not be able to use your favorite guns and attachments and all that stuff till you actually have your level to that certain rank. So I feel like a lot of people won't be prestiging. I'm going to probably just prestige to get to Prestige Master, but that is kind of interesting that they are doing that also for Warzone. Now going down to the camo here, like I said, we will have a mastery camo for Warzone. I think this is what it will look like. Obviously, it'll be animated and probably look way cooler, but I am excited to see how that grind is. We'll probably have like an XP type thing or maybe like kills, which I doubt they do kills because kills with a rocket launcher or something that would be insane but we will have probably an xp grind for every single gun where then you can get a warzone mastery camo i personally did not do the multiplayer one because i'm not a big multiplayer guy but i'm excited to see um how this looks because i did grind all my guns to be fully leveled just not actually do the camo grind so i'm excited to see how the warzone mastery camo looks i hope it's fire 
Now going down here to combat, we obviously have the body shield, which you can grab somebody from behind. And there's also proc chat, which is pretty funny. You guys have probably seen clips about that. You also have a dedicated melee weapon, which you can hold a certain button or if you got mouse and keyboard, a certain key and bring out your dedicated melee weapon. And you will have unlimited tax sprint. There is also a perk for that. So I'm excited to see how that works. And we also have shootable doors where now you can shoot open doors to kind of combat different strategies. That will be good if you think a team's camping in a building, you can shoot the door open. And if it gets closed or if you see them in there, you'll know. So I assume campers aren't too excited about this one. Now going down here to combat adjust adjustments here, we do have the loadout inventory of the of the classic Warzone experience. You get one primary weapon, unless you obviously have on overkill, but you can have two primary weapons. We have a new self revive auto pickup and it says while down, players will now be able to automatically loot self revive kits. That's kind of interesting if you're downed and you have a self close to you, or if you can loot for something, you can crawl over it and I guess grab a self-revive and get back up, which is interesting. This I love. Um, live ping duration, they have nerfed this, so it goes from three seconds to two seconds. I think that's a great, great change. I feel like live pings lasted way too long, so I love that they nerfed that some. Um, armor plate replacement speed, the, the speed at which players can replace broken or, or missing armor plates has been increased by 8% to match the fluidity of Black Ops 6 Omni movement. So it sounds like you can plate faster now, which is gonna be great. Um, there's an abandoned timer. So now um, it, it has changed from five seconds to four seconds. So I guess if you are trying to go to your gulag or something like that, that is a bit less. Um, death door, the health at which players will enter the death door state has been reduced from 50% to 35. Um, I believe this is when you're almost like, like very one shot. Um, and there's like, uh, obviously the audio and stuff like that, your screen's very, very red. I'm assuming that, that this has changed to be less which is kind of cool. Now, going down to my favorite thing, we have the Omni Movement update. Now, Omni Movement, obviously, the movement and combat innovations from Black Ops 6 are fully integrated into Warzone, meaning you can slide, dive, sprint in any direction, dive backwards. It's gonna be amazing, you guys have seen it. It feels great. Um, there's obviously the combat subpoena, um, which you can drop into a prone position and, and turn around as you're on the ground. That's amazing. And we have the intelligent movement where players can customize a lot of elements, how they transverse the landscape, sprint assist, mantle assist, all that kind of stuff. Watch my settings video if you guys need more help for that. Um, we, we also have unlimited tax sprint, which is a W. Um, that's gonna be either from having out your melee weapon or the sprinter perk. So I'm gonna probably be rocking the sprinter perk. Um, and now there's mantle protection. Players will now climb onto thin or high ledges rather than over them to prevent untimely deaths. That happens all the time. Um, now, some other great changes here. We have our tax sprint duration. We've heard feedback around default tax sprint duration. So it's been increased from two to four seconds, doubled the tax sprint duration. So now you tax sprint longer, amazing change. Um, and now landing tuning, um, they have changed to be reduced. And if you jump off a surface, they have changed the shock effect from falling on a surface, which is great. Instead of like landing and your gun's all weird, you can't sprint, they have changed that, which is great. Um, vertical asc ascenders and horiz horizontal zip lines, um, they have changes for the quality of life. Um, it's been improved, making it easier to attach to the line from an angle or while free falling to increase fluidity. I honestly just love this text in general that they're trying to make the game more fluid compared to that clunky old movement that we've always had. That's great. Um, and now we have the drones. The zip lines are now fixed in certain places, which I honestly don't, don't mind that much. Um, and now if a drone is consumed by gas, it will leave the map instead of moving to a place that is in, in zone instead. So great change. For inventory, we also have the beautiful OG Warzone system coming back and no more backpacks, which is gonna be amazing. Obviously with backpacks, you could store smokes and streaks and all that kind of stuff. Now we have the OG at season one. We're streamlining the inventory system by returning, or sorry, by removing the backpack and going back to the classic inventory layout with cash, gas mask, your gun, Guns, ammo, all that stuff, which I love. Um, that was one of the best parts about Warzone and I feel like they made it way too complicated, um, which is great. Now, we do have the perk system. Um, so now there's gonna be the, the pick three perks. Um, so now you can also have that, which is gonna be kind of weird because you can load in and have three perks loading in. Then you have your loadout, which you can completely change those, which is gonna be very interesting. We also have the new lootable perks on the ground um, compared to what we had before. You can now pick up shrouded or, or irradiated. That's gonna be the lootable perks on the ground that are gonna be um, ground only. But you can also loot all the other perks um, that you can also have in your custom loadout. And like I said, there is the pre-match perks. 
so you can now edit your pre-match perks in the pre-game lobby that means loading into the match you will have three pre-match perks and that you can use all the time until you grab your loadout which you can still use the same three ones you can also change it so that can be like an early game perk set and then if you got your loadout it can be more of a late game perks this depends on kind of your play style but i honestly like this because we've never had this in warzone so i'm excited to see how it plays now going down to the available perks i'm gonna try to speed run this um we have the veteran perk which does reduce the effects of enemy equipment the grenader perk explosive damage um slows um speed and health for your opponents um throw distance is shortened things like that um the dexterity perk reduce weapon motion while jumping siding and diving take us fall damage this kind of reminds me of a little bit of mountaineer probably run this um we have scavenger start equipped start equipped with mac maximum ammo reserve for your primary weapon so that's going to be great for those late game situations where you can grab a, a loadout and have a full max ammo primary which can be great um survivors start regening health more quickly um that kind of reminds me of quick fix a little bit they can revive you faster on the ground but you cannot revive them faster which is interesting for your perk slot two we have the quartermaster recharge equipment over time bomb squad reduces incoming explosive damage which kind of reminds me of eod we have tracker which is track your enemy's footsteps and the bullets that that you fire mark an opponent mark an enemy on contact you and your squad and also if an enemy downs you you are automatically live ping which is interesting um and then for the sprinter perk which i'm gonna definitely run you can tack sprint indefinitely which is amazing i'm excited for that one um cold-blooded undetected by ai targeting and thermals which is interesting um and then we have quick fix which killing enemies or inserting armor plates immediately starts health regen and now you can insert armor plates one-handed enabling them to still hold onto a weapon and hip fire which is very very interesting i'm excited to see how that plays out going on to your perk slot three we have gung-ho reduce movement penalties when reloading or using equipment reload while attack sprinting that's basically the default thing we had in modern warfare 3 war zone i don't know why that's going to be a thing in the new war zone we kind of got nerfed there because currently we already have this as a base default perk in general so i don't know why they changed that um now we have the resolute perk taking damage from gunfire provides a boost to movement speed um a 15 speed bonus and increase from five so this did get buffed a lot which is interesting um the ghost perk obviously ghost um you are undetected by enemy radar pings while moving um and you cannot be detected by some devices um so obviously if somebody has on bird's eye they can see you um now obviously bird's eye now um if you call in a, a uav it is 25 percent larger and shows the heading of the enemy for your squad and you also do get detects players who have on ghost which is great for bird's eye i would personally never run ghost i would always run bird's eye but it is up to you um tempered refill armor plates to full with two plates and alertness sense when enemies are nearby with an on-screen information and your your vision pulse when aimed at um from the enemy so this gives me like some high alert vibes and now for the other perks the lootable perks on are on the ground only is shrouded you drop a smoke grenade when entering a down state and then irradiate it if you're in the gas you can play it up and you take less gas damage um and you can also move faster which is great um now going on to the wild cards here this can be that fourth perk that you can use bandolier your loadout automatically gives you a muni um overkill you can get two primary weapons or secondaries we have the gunfighter perk which can be very 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 broken put three extra attachments on your primary weapon so then you can have eight attachment primaries which is insane and then you have um battle ready which is also pretty crazy as you now will get a uav and utility box from your loadout so that means if you're playing squads of four you could have three people run battle ready and have an advanced uav and three utility boxes for plates and ammo and all that stuff automatically from a loadout which is insane i'm not gonna lie um there is two satchels which can be an armor satchel which you can then carry from from six plates default to then 12 and a muni satchel which then you can carry from two to four equipment and increases how much ammo you can hold now going on to the equipment here i'll speed run through all this um have some frags which obviously as you guys know frags we have spring mines um which are kind of like prox mines semtexes you guys obviously know semtexes c4s we have the thermo grenade we have a new impact grenade which the second it hits something it blows up molotov throw a knife um we have blast traps which are planted explosive device that detonates when enemies come near reminds me of like a the exact same thing as above um with the 
spring mine, but guess what it is. Um, drill charges and combat axes. Coming down to tactical equipment, we have a prox alarm, which is new. Um, it flashes and rings if there's an opponent nearby. Um, we have concussions, we have flashbangs. Flashbangs and Black Ops 6 are crazy right now. Obviously, concussions are good too. Snapshots, spy camera, smokes, which got nerfed. Experimental gas, stim shots, which did get buffed, and you do get a refresh tax sprint and a burst of movement speed, which I'm excited for tat or for stim shots to be back. We have decoys, shock charges, and the neuro gas mine. Now going down here, um, this is very interesting. We also have the frags. Um, frags did get buffed um, from the outer damage that did get decreased. The mid damage and the uh, got buffed and the inner damage got kind of nerfed a little bit. Um, and there is a new quality of life frag cooking indicator showing you how long your frag can be cooked for, which is great. Um, the Semtex explosive uh, radius did get decreased and the inner and outer damage did get nerfed. Um, so that's interesting. Um, throwing knife uh, damage decreased to 180 from 200, so those got nerfed. Drill charges, those did also get a pretty big nerf. Does seem like they nerfed a lot of the tacticals and lethals. The Molotovs, they got nerfed. Smokes, as you guys saw from, um, from COD Next, those also got nerfed in how long and how much smoke there is on your screen, which I'm very glad to have a no smoke meta again. Um, experimental gas will now deal 10 damage per tick. I don't know if that's better or worse, I gotta be honest. Um, and snapshots did get buffed um, by a five meter radius. So the kill streaks that will be available from the buy stations and crates, there'll be care packages, which then will have legendary graded weapons, lootable perks and field upgrades. We'll have a napalm strike, which is new. I'm excited to see how this is. Sam turret, which then will scan and attack aerial uh, vehicles in range. Interesting. Sentry gun, UAV, advanced UAV, Bunker Buster, Cluster, Counter, Foresight, Precision, and Supply UAV, which is all stuff that's already in Warzone. Um, the Killstreak Adjustments, Bunker Buster, the Trophy System will now counter the Bunker Buster. That already happened before, even though it's kind of buggy. Um, and there's new Field Upgrades. We have Scrambler, which creates an area that disrupts enemy equipment, Field Upgrades, Killstreaks, and the map, which is kind of like a smaller counter. We have War Cry, which you can pop it, and now it helps your team's movement speed and health regen for a certain duration. So movement speed and health regen. We also have the armor box, the muni box, PDS, deployable buy, also the deployable cover, heartbeat, which um, I don't know a ton of people that have used this. We have the obviously loadouts, portable radar, all this stuff is pretty, um, pretty normal to Warzone. So a couple field upgrade adjustments, heartbeat sensors now highlights enemies in red within 15 meters up from seven. So a heartbeat definitely got buffed. I still don't use it, see a ton of people use them, but it's interesting because it definitely definitely got a solid buff. Muni boxes now give you three clips of every ammo type. Portable radars got a buff um, from 25 seconds up to 30, so they are five seconds longer. Personal redeploy drones um, now deploy 50% faster, and you can shoot while you're in them, which is kind of cool. Um, flares did get buffed, where you can use them 30% faster, and now trophies counter charges from three to five. So all, so these all got buffed, which can be very, very interesting to see how these feel for field upgrades. Now going on here to the weapons. Now this stuff, I'm very excited to see what they say. Um, they obviously have expanded to Black Ops 6 weapons, and now we have MW2, MW3, and Black Ops 6, which is kind of crazy. Now, at launch, Black Ops 6 weapons and Warzone will share similar values to their multiplayer counterparts, such as ADS speed, sprint to fire, and recoil. However, damage profiles for a number of, number of weapons have been modified to establish a baseline for Warzone, um, which is gonna be great. Now, this I'm also excited for too, with the integration um, of Black Ops 6, we now have new tuning options for weapons that weren't previously available, allowing us to adjust aspects like handling, ADS speed, and sprint to fire, mag sizes, recoil, and more. For instance, while the AS Val has a default mag of 20 in multiplayer, we've set it to 30 in Warzone. So they can change all this kind of stuff just for Warzone specifically, which I think is gonna be great. So obviously it says here, our goal is to make weapon adjustments faster to keep the available selection dynamic and engaging. Hopefully to not have a set meta like we've had for every single season for a long time, but I've seen them say this before, so fingers crossed we'll see, but I'm not trying to get my hopes up because I feel like we've had the same exact guns and exact metas for a long time. But we'll see though, hopefully this is true. And with all these new tuning options, we aim to refine each weapon's identity and role specific to their use in Warzone, such as emphasizing assault rifles as strong long range options. So that's great. Now, hopefully they will stick true to this. We'll see. 
So now I'm going down to MW2 and MW3 weapons, which I think this is great for people that don't have Black Ops 6 or haven't had the time to grind all the guns yet. They have a visual recoil reduction pass has been applied to all MW MW2 weapons which is great. And then Bayo and Stock Attachments from MW2 have also had their penalties reduced, which is going to be amazing because I feel like a lot of people haven't had time or don't have Black Ops 6 to grind all the guns. Um, and now all the attachments, um, suppressors, boost, velocity, and damage range. Um, then the compensators improve recoil control, flash hiders increase damage range and fire aim stability, and the breacher increases melee damage and recoil control. Also on the grips, they have the angled grip increases hip fire and tack stance, hand stop improves sprint of fire and ADS, and the vertical grip increases recoil control and fire and aim stability. Um, and the MW2 and MW3 guns have corner slicing, um, but I'm just glad they did buff um, a lot of the MW2 and MW3 guns for people that don't have Black Ops 6. We also are getting in the Battle Pass for Season 1, the Krig, which I'm excited for that to come back, full auto assault rifle, high damage and average handling. It's going to be great. We have the SOG from Black Ops 4, fully automatic uh, submachine gun, excellent mobility and good handling. That's going to be amazing. I'm excited for that. I love the SOG in Blackout way back then. Um, we also have the Siren 9, which is going to be a special weapon in Season, um, fully auto automatic specialty weapon offers SMG characteristics as a secondary slow rate of fire. So we'll see um, the power drill, which is a melee, which you can actually pull this out and unlimited tax brain, which is pretty cool. And then obviously we have um, some new attachments, Dragon's Breath. We have a brand new stock, which Dragon's Breath is going to be kind of crazy. Hopefully it's not broken like in Verdance. And then we have a conversion, um, a burst rate or a burst fire conversion for the XM4, which can change that to a three round burst instead of fully auto. That might be good. Um, and then and then burst fire conversion for the compact 92 SMG. So we also have that vomit loot that's coming back um, for ground loot and supplies. They have the Black Ops 6 items. So they have the Black Ops 6 weapons, the, the War Cry and Scrambler, kill streaks, lethals, tacticals, perks, all that kind of stuff. And they're taking out um, cluster mines, mosquito drones, and guardians, which I honestly don't mind, and redeploy tokens from ground loot, which I honestly like that a lot. Um, they will also have um, now as there's guns and stuff on the floor, it will show you what kind and what color that item is. So if it's a rare gun, it's going to be blue, which I think it's going to help as you pick up certain guns and certain attachments. You know what you're grabbing based on the color of the loot. Um, they also have um, some quality of life changes for the other stuff and loot, but I'm honestly glad that they have this old vomit loot coming back where you see what's on the ground and also it shows you what kind of gun and is actually on the ground based on the color of it. So I skipped ahead some kind of going down to vehicles here because I feel like I've been talking a lot. But let me know what you guys think of all this down below. Are you guys excited for Warzone tomorrow? I am going to be streaming probably right now as you guys see this video playing the brand new Warzone live. So stop by, say what's up. I would love to see you guys in chat. Um, the thing I'm excited for too is they are buffing vehicles, um, updated models, improved cameras, physics, all that kind of stuff. Um, and there's also... They took away the flat tires and repairing and, and refueling of, of vehicles, which I think was just kind of just so extra for no reason. And hopefully these vehicles will now actually be driving normal and you can actually use a vehicle to rotate and stuff and not have to feel like you're stuck in kind of quicksand when you're driving a lot of these cars. Now the fire range also did get updated um, on damage profiles, default health, armor plates, where you can actually go into the fire range and build a loadout and test it out and that will feel how it feels to fight other players that was a big problem in the old war zones we could go in the firing range and that did not match the exact same health and stuff of the actual players in war zone so it's going to feel a lot better now all these targets can move um will also show you the default health um and the also damage summary of the people that you're shooting at. So that can show you how easy it is to control your recoil from far away, how much damage you're dealing per mag, all that kind of stuff, and help you build out a loadout for you, customizable for you, um, which I think is great. So in the audio section, they do have the en enhanced headphone mode, which they have um, apparently now the best in class audio, which is now going to be free to all players. They had that like pay to win mode that people complained about so hopefully they took that away um i haven't seen a ton of people use it to be honest so i don't know um they also have this new armor plate break audio which i like new audio has been added to indicate that armor plates have been broken and destroyed which is great i think that's great as you're gonna be fighting somebody challenging certain teams you get a dedicated sound for armor breaks um they did nerf the prox chat radius from 55 meters to 45 um and they have stacking hit markers and sound effects 
now for a wall bang for water or for a new sounds while you're fighting certain players and kind of where they are compared to a wall bang if you break their armor things like that which i think are interesting we'll see how that goes obviously wars on an audio have always been pretty rough so we'll see how that plays out now that is going to wrap up the patch notes there is so much stuff in these patch notes so we will see how it plays tomorrow make sure to stop by the stream i'll be live everywhere tomorrow playing the brand new warzone i would love to see you if you guys are new here subscribe down below like to like today's video and let me know what you guys think of black ops 6 warzone i'll see you guys soon peace